Welcome back. Today we're having a look at the last of the Wonder Artistic models that I have in hand currently, the full body Styracosaurus. Who doesn't love Ceratopsians? If you don't, we're going to have some serious words. As always, if you want to get a Wonder model kit of your own, make sure to use coupon code spinadude wonder all in caps, to save 5% on your next order. This Styracosaurus was a very fun build. The body is pretty standard and goes together pretty efficiently. The main thing I want to note back there is the really dynamic and well-designed posture. The animal appears to be mid-trot, and it just looks really good. The construction is very solid as well, and it balances perfectly. I mainly want to shift my focus to the head on this model, where all the really interesting stuff is happening. First of all, at the neck, you can adjust the angle on the head, both vertically and horizontally, which is really cool. For vertical adjustment, you just remove this neck piece with the head attached to it, and reattach the whole assembly to this connector piece on the body at any angle you want. And similarly, for side-to-side -side movement, remove this assembly from the base of the skull and place the head at any angle you want, and then reattach. It's really amazing how they've engineered some of these wooden kits to feature posability and articulation. And speaking of articulation, once again the bottom jaw is articulated on this one, this time with a double connected joint that works extremely well. Now, the head design on this one is one of the most impressively engineered constructions I've seen from this entire line so far. And that is simply because Ceratopsians have very ornate and intricate head designs with lots of curvature. And it's difficult to capture in wooden kits like this, but Wonder Models successfully designed this head to not only be fairly easy to assemble, but nice and sturdy, and also capturing the look of this animal's skull extremely well. There is a lot of diversity with Styracosaurus skulls, but just generally, this one gets everything down really well. The curvature in the frill is achieved by these slit wood pieces that are flexible, and are held in place from the back by these crescent-shaped pieces. It's really thoughtful design, and like I said, once assembled, the whole construction feels really sturdy. I also really like the assembly done on the nasal horn. It's a long wooden rod with small Among Us-shaped wood pieces that slot around it, and get gradually smaller towards the top, forming the horn-like shape. All in all, this whole piece is just really impressively designed for what it is, and if you're a fan of Ceratopsians, I'd say you'd get a kick out of building it. In case you're wondering how big this model is, it's just about 16 inches long and 9 inches tall. And for a quick comparison, here it is with the Wonder Model Stegosaurus. And Jeff Goldblum. That's going to do it for this review, guys. A big thank you to Simon for sending this kit out to me once again. If you want to get one for yourself, don't forget to use the coupon code SPINODUDE-WONDER, all in caps, on their website to save 5% on your next order. I'll catch you all in my next video. Take care, and bye bye